In a bold move aimed at addressing one of Johannesburg's most pressing challenges, the African National Congress, ANC, has unveiled a new initiative that seeks to revolutionize the city's approach to law enforcement. Speaking on behalf of the party, spokesperson Marrero outlined a strategic plan designed to enhance the communication skills of the Johannesburg Metropolitan Police Department, JMPD, officers, with a focus on tackling the complex issue of multilingualism in urban crime situations. As the city's population continues to diversify, the ANC's proposal highlights the urgent need for law enforcement to bridge linguistic gaps, ensuring that all residents, regardless of their native language, are protected and served effectively. This initiative could not only redefine policing in Johannesburg, but also set a precedent for cities grappling with similar issues across South Africa. But before we continue, I'd like to encourage you to kindly subscribe, turn on the post notification bell to stay updated as we bring you recent happenings from the heart of South Africa. Marrero, a spokesperson for the African National Congress, ANC, recently delivered a speech in which he highlighted the party's new plan to strengthen efforts to combat crime by improving the communication skills of police working for the Johannesburg Metropolitan Police Department, JMPD. The purpose of this strategic effort is to address the growing problem of multilingualism in urban crime situations, which is becoming more prevalent. Marrero brought attention to the fact that Johannesburg's extensive population is comprised of a significant number of people who speak languages other than English or Afrikaans. When it comes to maintaining order in a city as diverse as this one, it is essential for law enforcement officers to be able to communicate effectively with all members of the community, regardless of their native language. In order to bridge gaps that frequently impede the efficiency of law enforcement, the ANC is working to incorporate training in foreign languages into the professional development of officers of the Jamaica Metropolitan Police Department. The ability to speak multiple languages is not just a valuable skill but a necessary tool for modern policing, Marrero said in his statement. As part of our efforts to guarantee the protection of the general public, it is absolutely necessary for our officers to be able to interact with all different parts of the community, particularly in situations that are both urgent and delicate. Zulu, Kosa, and Sisutu are some of the languages that are most frequently spoken in the districts of Johannesburg, and the proposed training program will concentrate on teaching these languages. In addition to enhancing communication, the African National Congress, ANC, thinks that this effort will also help to cultivate a stronger level of trust between the police and the communities that they serve. The critics, on the other hand, have voiced concerns over the cost of such a program as well as its viability potential. Marrero responded by assuring that the African National Congress is trying to get financing and resources in order to achieve the goal of making the program successful. The party is also investigating the possibility of forming agreements with educational institutions and linguistic specialists in order to implement the training in an effective manner. The African National Congress, ANC, has put forward a proposal that represents a proactive approach to reforming police tactics and improving community relations on account of Johannesburg's ongoing growth and development. It is possible that the success of the program could serve as a model for other cities who are struggling with difficulties such as these. The ANC's proposed initiative to enhance the linguistic capabilities of Johannesburg's police force marks a significant step forward in modernizing South Africa's approach to urban policing. By addressing the linguistic barriers that hinder effective law enforcement, the ANC is not only recognizing the city's rich cultural diversity, but also prioritizing the safety and trust of all its residents. However, the success of this ambitious plan hinges on the party's ability to secure adequate funding and forge strategic partnerships with educational institutions and language experts. As Johannesburg continues to grow, this initiative could prove to be a pivotal moment in the city's history, transforming how law enforcement interacts with its communities and setting a new standard for policing in diverse urban centers nationwide. If implemented successfully, this program could become a blueprint for other South African cities, demonstrating that true public safety begins with communication and understanding. Thanks for watching on to the end of this video. Hope this video was very informative and reliable. For more details on related videos, kindly subscribe, turn on the post notification bell, and I will see you on the next video.